up guys so here's how this trigger pacer script works okay first up I've got the kick track from this month's nail the mix here is what it sounds like okay now right off the bat I'm gonna know that some of the you can kind of tell just by looking at it some of those the way tab to transient works is it literally tabs to the next transient so it's not necessarily tab to kick or tab to snare or tab to tom like you wish it was. It's just tab to a transient. So it doesn't know that this right here is not what you want to be pasting in. So yeah, so that sounds like it's a snare there or some sort of weird clunk. So what happens is if you try to tab over, it's going to tab there. And then you're going to end up pasting a sample there and to there and then over again and then again and again and you're gonna get a bunch of errors so you don't want that so what I would recommend doing is taking a gate and here is kinda where I have it set for this month's kick and you can hear even there here's what it sounds like it's much tighter so let's just pop disappearing those in-between ones zoom in real far I mean it might still get those but hopefully not yeah it seems to be missing them yeah that looks pretty good so once you have that process you can go here take your kick track copy it make sure this command focus is on in Pro Tools because these key commands are all key commands. Click before your first track here. Go over to your script editor, which is the program that opens if you click on the script paste, uh, trigger paster when you download it. Then, like I said, make sure that you're clicked here because that's important. Then go back to the script editor, hit play. Now what it does is it goes through and pastes it basically tabs over, goes down, hits paste, goes up, and then over, down, paste, and it repeats that something like a hundred times. And this is how I used to do samples before there was Drumagog or Trigger Paster. And I would have to do it by hand, but it gets really tedious. So I figured out this trigger that you could write scripts inside of the Mac command and now you could go get a cup of coffee or do something else i don't think you can answer emails or work in another program i haven't tried it but it is good to just kind of watch it and see if there's any miss hits because you will get a few hits that you know like i said those in between transients that it thinks it's a kick but it's not or it thinks it's the actual hit but it's not so it's good to see where those are and you can uh correct them or just make a mental note of it that like oh there's one there there's one there but so far it's not really getting any and that's because we gated the track pretty cleanly so once this is done I'll kind of go show you how so you'll notice that this ends right at the top here and that's good there, and that's intentional because now that it's not finished with the whole track you can just hit play again and it'll it'll just tab right back over to here and just hit play again. I'm not gonna do it because it'll actually go again and we'll have to sit through it again. So now let's just go through and review and make sure that all of these are perfect. Pretty much. So that's how you use it. That's both of them. There you go. Have fun.